So I've been having this ant problem in my garden. Ants seem to be just everywhere. Summer 2020, I've never seen so many ants all over my, around my house. Anywhere, they'll just actually dig holes everywhere I go. Let me show you. You'll see little holes dug. Look over here. Now this is a little citrus tree here, but you can see each one of these little holes is where these ants are digging up. They're basically aerating the soil, which in a way is good, but also what they're doing is actually eating the nutrients out of the soil. So if I fertilize, say with, uh, fish any fish products like fish meal or bone uh, fish bone meal um, I did seabird guano in here as well so these ants will actually eat this eat your fertilizer right out of your your soil typically the ants will uh, defend the aphids and keep they'll actually fight off ladybugs because ladybugs will eat the aphids, but the ants will defend their aphids. So they they are really kind of a pest in the garden in that way that they help the aphids survive. So let's go look around for more ants. Any other holes? You see right here, look at this. Just looks like all these penetrations in there. Just See, there's a bunch right there over here and it doesn't matter I just watered this yesterday as well so you could water this all the time so what you can do is as well see I got this citrus tree and they'll actually crawl up the citrus tree they don't seem to be doing it right now but I always am hosing off my my plants to keep insects down but this is just the whole area is just it's like bullet holes into my plant. You can see right there, look at that. I don't know if they're really crawling around right now, but. Because of this ficus tree right here, this big ficus tree, the roots, you can see that root right there, it was coming across over here and then pulling these pavers up. All these pavers were pushing upward and lifting. So I pulled all these pavers up and the roots were just all through here, everywhere. And I pulled these up, tons of ants, ant trails all through here. I just wanna show you guys, this is pretty incredible. I just pulled this piece of stone up and these ants have just created a full colony it's like a cross section of of the ant's life. So every this a stone was sitting flat on top of this. So this is everything is hollowed out. You can see all, all their different trails here. Um, these are roots from a ficus tree. They just dug around the, the ficus tree roots, going along here. And here's a trail. You can see they're going out underneath the stone. So they dug around river rock, moved sand out of the way. They're carrying, looks like they had a bunch of stuff and they're just carrying it all away. They took away down deeper. They had all their food and all these little like white flies that were, they were collecting and insects. They took those away really quickly. That must have been their food source. Okay, let's go over here. Let's go down to this plant over here that I want to show you guys. 
just got through watering but already I'll show you down here down here this is the one that I was watering today and it already the ants are back they just go out and just reorganize remove everything around even though I just sprayed water on it they're quickly back to work Let's see if they're going up this plant again yeah, they're definitely, look at that, they're coming in droves. So this is a major infestation inside of this container plant right here. There might be an entire hive under there, but I'm going to go ahead and keep them off of this plant as well. So I'm going to put this on, see here wrap that around alright so now make sure it's tied around there there's no gaps so let's watch what happens here will they cross through okay now what I'm gonna do at this point I'm gonna take a little bit of Vaseline and I'll be able to basically make it very slippery so they won't be able to walk over the top of this. Okay, I got some of this Vaseline petroleum jelly on there. Go ahead and apply this. Get a full coating all the way around this. Top to bottom, this will guarantee these guys will not be crawling on this so might need to check on this every few days just to check the condition um, if it's in the heat it's potentially this could drip off okay we got pretty good coverage and definitely no ants are crawling up this right now so they're definitely not they're not going to pass that So, so far, that is working great. Now it looks like it's definitely slowing down their, their movement. They're not going any further. All right, let's come down here. Let's get a little bit on this one as well. So it seems to be the citrus trees um, are a big one that they like to crawl up because of the aphids. You don't want to put this directly on the directly on the trunk itself. Put this double-sided sticky tape on first. So what we're going to use is cinnamon. So you can see right in here I still have some holes. I just watered this yesterday but they're still coming back. You can see, let's check this out. So they're still in here. Over here as well. So I did a little research and I found out and what happens is the queen ants have wings and what they do is they fly around and then they they plant their eggs thousands of eggs in the soil and those um, eggs turn into ants and they create their own colony a nest in these plants so not only there's a food source in the soil as I was saying but it's a safe environment for them in the soil. Everything they need to not only feed, but reproduce. And they can also go up these trees and feed off the uh, aphids and whatnot. So 
let's go ahead and we're going to take a little of the cinnamon here. So we're going to try to sprinkle it in the holes. Just a little bit. Just go for the, the main holes. And around the stem here. So I put the sticky, um, double-sided sticky tape with the uh, Vaseline petroleum jelly around the stem. So that's going to keep them from crawling up. And now the cinnamon is going to deter them as well. So I'm trying to hit all the major holes. See, there's a hole right there. The longer I let this plant sit here, the more they will dig. I just watered this yesterday. You can see it's still kind of wet. But the ants will keep coming back. You can see a little hole. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit. They seem to really want to be around the stem, so so that's going to really slow down their activity in, in there. It's going to really slow down their activity. Another option is to actually empty out the entire pot and put new soil in, but I don't really uh, think that's a good idea. You can damage the root system. Unless it's a brand new planted um, plant where you can take it out without damaging the roots, but I don't think that's a good idea to uh, to do that. So there you go, simple solution, organic solution to solve your ant problems. Just sprinkle this around. Um, you can also use cayenne pepper, but I like like the cinnamon. You know, this is if it if you do get any residue on your plants, a little cinnamon flavor is not going to hurt. You just don't want to overdo this. Try to do this um, after you water because you don't want to sprinkle sprinkle this on and then water. Then this will kind of get diluted into the. Uh, into the surface so do this after you're watering like a day later when you start seeing those holes come back up again so it doesn't take too much of this don't overdo it you don't want to be just pouring tons of this the cinnamon on your on your soil so you can see here they're actually digging around the whole stem and that causes root damage right there too much damage to your plants so again I'm going to sprinkle just about like that that'll keep them away from that area since they really seem to be hanging out near the the trunk of this plant so just go around your garden and do this um, maybe once once a week and just uh, that should solve your problems easy organic solution to uh, these ants in your container pots I don't like to use any chemicals and you know I've done a lot of research on the internet and there's boric acid there's you know different poisons that you can buy but you know, this is a TV show. This show is about growing organic and not using any toxic chemicals or pesticides. So that's about it, you guys. Thought I'd share that with you. Let me know in the comments, like I said, if you guys are having any problems with the ants, it's just like I am because uh, I don't know what's going on this year, but they're really wrecking havoc on my garden I think. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click like if you enjoyed this and we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.